feelings up with forgiveness. When someone has hurt us, we don't have to be the ones who banish them. Is we are a Christian, a Muslim, or a Jew, surely we would believe that God will banish them enough. If we are a Buddhist, a Hindu, or a Sikh, we would know that karma will revive our excellent with their just desert. And if you are a follower of the modern religion or spiritual therapy, you know that your assailant will have to go through years of expensive therapy because of their guilt. So why do we have to be the one who teaches them a lesson? Considering quietly, we discover that we don't have to be the executioner. We are still doing our public duty when we let go of our anger and scorn off with forgiveness. Two of my fellow Western monks were having an encounter. One of the monks were a famous U.S. marriage who has fought as a grand frontline soldier in the Vietnam War and has been badly wounded. The other has been a very successful businessman who has made such a large amount of money that he has retired in his mid twenties. They were two clever, strong, extremely tall characters. Monks aren't supposed to have agreements, but they were. Monks aren't supposed to have faced fights, but they were about to. They were eyes bored to eyeballs, nose to nose, and spitting enter in the midst of a ferocious verbal exchange. The former man raised, goes down on his knees and pours gracefully to the shock as businessman monk. Then he looked up and said, I'm sorry, forgive me. It's were once of the race chest justice. Let's come direct from the heart. We are always born tenors and inspirational rather than flanned. They are recognizable by their immediacies and their being totally irresistible. The Asperger's man monk wept. A few minutes later, they were seen walking together as friends. Monks are supposed to do this, but it is forgiveness. Forgiveness might work in a monetary. I hear you say, but if we give the short of forgiveness in real lives, we be taken advantage of. People will walk all over us. They trust things worth quick. I agree. Just forgiveness greatly works. At the saying goes, he who turns the other dead must face the dentist price rather than once the Thai government's eye in the river story. This more than just give forgiveness draw is unconditional amnesty. It's also short all the root problem poverty. 
and translates it skillfully. That's work why the amnesty work. I conscious forgiveness, positive forgiveness. Positive means in the positive reinforcement of those good qualities that we want to see appear. Forgiveness means letting go of the best quality that are part of the problem, not the dwellings on them, but moving on. For example, in the gardens, watering is only the weeds. It's like cultivating problems, not watering anything. It like practicing only forgiveness. And watering the flowers, but not the wheat symbolizes positive forgiveness. Some ten years ago, at the end of one of our Friday night talk in Perth, a woman came up to speak with me. She has been regularly attending their weekly talk for as long as I could remember. But this was the first time she has spoken to me. She said that she wanted to say a peace thank you, not only to me, but also to all the monks who had taught at our centers. Then she explains why. She has begun coming to our temple seven years reversely. She wasn't all just interested in Buddhism at that time. She confessed, nor in meditation. Her main reason for attending was as an excuse to get out of her house. She has a violent husband. She was a victim of horrendous domestic violence. In those days, the boss just just wasn't available to help such a victim. It's just a cauldron of boiling emotions. She couldn't see clearly enough to simply walk out forever. So she came to our Buddhist center with the idea that two hours in the temple were two hours she wouldn't. Be bash. What she had in our temple changed her life. She listened to the monks describe positive forgiveness. She decided to try it out on her husband. She told me that every time he hit her, she forgave him and let it go. How she could do that? Only she knows. That every time he did or said anything kind, no matter how trifling, she would hurt him or cover him with kisses, or use any other gestures to let him know how much that kindness means to her. She took nothing for granted. She sighed and told me that it took her seven long years. At this point, her eyes became watery, and so this night, seven long years, she told me, and now you wouldn't recognize the man. He changes completely. We have such a resource, loving relationship now, and two wonderful children. Her face radiated the clouds of unsent. I felt like getting on my nest to bow to her. See that soon, she said, stopping me. He makes the wooden meditation stone for me this quick as a surprise. 
If it has been seven years ago, he would only have used it to hit me with. The lump is my trust clearness as I laughed with her. I admire that woman. She earned her hour happiness with work on side rapel. I would say from the brightness of her filters, and she changed a monster into a caring man. She held another person, manifestly. That's where an extreme example of positive forgiveness recommend only for those hidden for sand dirt. Nevertheless, it shows what can be achieved when forgiveness is torn with and correcting the good.